Uh, the, the, mo the two most common chart types um, are line chart and candlestick chart. Now, line chart is really sort of basic. It's, um, right, I mean, if you go back to this, I have the line chart here. It's basic, let's see, let's pull up a longer history um, or even the one year history in the, the black line is, is your daily line chart. Each one of these, each one of these um, prices is the end of day uh, price that is connected by a line. It it's simple to understand. It uh, it doesn't have any noise in it, so it's it's good to. I like to look at it uh, sort of like the first picture of the long term uh, time horizon because it's uh, it's easy then to identify sort of the long term trend, right? And what we can see. It's steadily with some peaks and, and, and valleys, the price is trending up. Clearly, um, Ethereum is an uptrend. And, and we say so based on our sort of rating of the trend up here. Um, we have the ratings of the, the trend on the short-term, medium, and long-term basis. But even just visually, you can see that. Uh, and that's what the line, uh, uh, the line chart is good for. Um, but really, it's, it, uh, it obscures a lot of the action that happens um, during the day. And that's why um, everyone's adopted uh, for trading the candlestick chart. And they call it the Jap Japanese candlesticks because these charts originated in Japan all the way back in the mid 1600s, uh, which is mind blowing that they've been used for so long, for hundreds of years, initially to trade rice futures. And, and so you'll hear people talk about Japanese candlesticks, um, but basically uh, it is the most popular chart for, um, for technical analysis because it includes more information about what happened during that time interval, a day or an hour and so on. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, take a look at, you know, the, the, the way we enable you to switch to candlestick charts is, is right here. And, uh, if we zoom, zoom uh, to, uh, to a, a shorter time horizon, you'll see that you've got these candles. Uh, the red candles obviously are on days when the price closed down and the green candles are um, designate, uh, designating days when the price closed up. So already visually you can, uh, from the candlestick chart, see that it was you know, maybe a series of positive up days, a series of negative down days, that already is a, is a huge help in, in understanding the sentiment. You're also lining it up with the volumes, right? Uh, was it a, a down day on the big volume or was it a down day on the small volume? That also makes a difference. And did it break out and, and move up on the big green uh, volume days, which would indicate a great level of demand? Um, and so, um, and so let's get back to a couple other things that I want to show you about the candles, um, which is that to understand what a candle is, and again, um, I apologize if this is boring for some of you, but it, it basically captures uh, the, the, the data or the price movement within one simple candle. So here, as an example, uh, we have, uh, let's, let's pretend this is the price of uh, Ethereum. Um, and we have basically 24 hours in one day uh, on the low end of the, the axis, the X axis. And on the left hand side axis, we have the prices. And so uh, let's uh, hypothetically say that Ethereum opened at 3,781. And this would be on a, the uh, UTC time zone. It opened here. Let me go ahead and use a pencil here. It opened here. Then it kind of moved down and, and that would have been, so, you know, in the candle, that price movement would be designated by the open here and move down here, okay, to what happened to be the low of the day. And then the price started, uh, the buyers stepped in and the price started moving up, reached uh, the high of the day, 3,804, right? And, and that would be seen as, okay, the price started moving up all the way to the high. And then the price kind of drifted down, bounced up a little bit and closed the day at 3,792. 
And so the price would have done maybe this and closed here, okay? And so at the end of the day, all of this price action is captured by this simple candle uh, in that what we have here is the open price, close price, the high and the low. Um, the, the part of the candle that's between the open and the close is what they call the real body. The, um, the, the lines on the, on the, on the, uh, on the top of the, 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 the real body is called the upper shadow and uh, the line connecting uh, the body with the low point, low price point is the lower, lower shadow. And of course, if the, the, the price closed uh, above the open, which it did today, because on this day, the price opened at 3,781 and closed about $10 or $11 higher, then it's in the green color. If it closed, if it had closed below that, it would be uh, a red color. So this is the fascinating part about the candlestick. It, it captures so much more information than the line chart. In the line chart, all we would get is this price right here, the close, nothing else. All of all the other data, we wouldn't, we wouldn't basically have any idea what happened to that price during that day. All we would have known and seen is that the price closed at 3,792. And so this is clearly a lot more informative and some strategies really focus on, on, on these, uh, basically on these uh, candlesticks uh, or patterns uh, multiple candlesticks together. Uh, we'll look at some examples as well. And so, again, different price action forms different candles, and and that alone could be a clue of what's happening in the marketplace between the buyers and the sellers. And uh, and so here's a you know quick uh, quiz for you: um, which one of these four different candlesticks do you think is more bullish? Someone said C, more bullish, not bearish. It's not, not really a trick question. I, I, I see some A's and D's, and that would be correct. It's not a very hard quiz, I know, but clearly um, the, 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 the C, the candle that, that is in red, is not bullish because the price um, price closed below the open to begin with, but also as you notice, it um, it it shot up. It opened at three thousand seven hundred eighty-one. It shot up to uh, three thousand eight hundred and four, and then the sellers just pounded it and pounded it even lower where it opened. Uh, this is a you know quite bearish uh, uh, price action candle. The 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 B example here. Uh, what happened here is that we opened at 3,781. Maybe you went down and it went up. You know, it just kind of was a, you know, a lot of price action between these two lows and highs. But they, at the end of the day, really closed just very barely above where it opened at 3,785 for a gain of $4. Um, more or less, nothing's changed. And it, it's an indication of uh, some you know pause or indicate uh, or um, indecision in the market, okay. But now clearly this is just one candle. Uh, you always have to look at the the context. Uh, but um, I just want to really drive. This is not again. I don't want you to necessarily remember these candles and what they mean right now. Um, um, but but really just understand how important it is um, to learn. Uh, to and, and get used to the candlestick charts because they tell a story and they and they are far more informative than the line chart. And the A and D are certainly uh, the bullish candles here in that the A one you know opened and uh, and and it made a nice big body. Uh, it made a big big gains and it closed towards the high. So at the end of the interval, this could be a day, it could be a four hour interval, it could be a one hour interval. But the end, at the end of the interval, the buyers were still in charge um, and they pushed the price and the price closed um, at the high end and very near the high uh, for the day. Um, and so the bulls were in charge. Uh, D very similar, uh, maybe even 
uh, more bullish in that the price opened higher and the sellers were really trying to push it down. There were some really aggressive, desperate sellers, but the buyer stepped in at the end of the day. Um, in fact, they were aggressive enough to soak, soak up all the demand uh, uh, supply from the from the sellers, and uh, the price closed at the very almost at the very high for the day. Um, so again, uh, just trying to drive uh, the, the the understanding that this is very informative, and there are. And if we look at the next slide, there are now many different patterns, one candle patterns, two candle patterns, three candle patterns. And by the way, right now our platform does not have the candlestick sort of pattern recognition, but it's literally maybe one or two weeks away. So, um, so you will be able to uh, screen the cryptocurrency um, data and, and altcoins to say, hey, show me all the altcoins that have recently had, you know, some of these are really funny, like abandoned baby, a bullish abandoned baby, or show me those that have had an inverted hammer. Anyway, um, point being is that there is a whole science and art around using um, multiple candles that form a certain pattern and tell a story, whether it's bu bullish or bearish, um, and, and certain trading strategies are based solely on this and others utilize this indicators, these indicators uh, in addition to others, okay, uh, in combination. Um, and so our platform, again, will uh, will be able to identify these types of patterns. Uh, I would say it's, it's in the very final stages, so in the ne next couple of weeks.